Well, my position here is as a pastor in charge, and I have two churches. So, in other words, you can say 75, 25. So, um, two Sundays I'm here, two Sundays I'm at South Church Park. I've been here seven years, and it's been, it's been really nice to be in this place. It's a lively, lively congregation in a way, but also a very committed. Wallace is, is in Southend-on-Sea, and uh, it's in the, almost in the center. We have about 60, between 60 and 80 people attending. And people are very welcoming, people are very accepting, and that is, uh, the, I would say, the best thing about this congregation. I like actually the challenges that brings to me almost every day. Every day is different, meeting different people, and also not actually doing nine to five job is expecting something different happening every day and by God's grace and with his help dealing with that. Well, to be honest, the one thing I could change about the ministry would be uh, more time, really. More time to do things that I, I really want to do. Not being able to actually do them or do justice to those, all those things. I never actually wanted to be a minister. That is uh, a reality. I used to make fun of ministers and missionaries back home in Pakistan. And uh, when I came over, he had just came to do some biblical studies so I could go back to Pakistan and do translation work. But the Lord had obviously different plans and one thing led to the other. And when I was approached by my minister then, Derek Wensley, who said to me, how about actually, have you ever thought about becoming a minister? And I said to him, there's no way. There must be another way. Somebody else who could actually do that better, better than me. And he kind of encouraged me, and I started praying about it. And that's how actually I, I started from the Inquirer's Conference and going to different things and exploring the possibility whether there is a possibility for me to become a minister. When I told my mother, who is still alive, living in Pakistan, and said to her, maybe the Lord is calling me for some sort of ministry. And she said to me, well, at least one prayer answered. And that's when she told me that she had been praying for me for the last 24 years before her prayer was answered. So when she said, well, if, if I believe this is one of my prayers answered, and I, I took it as actually a confirmation from the Lord, yes, long time waiting, but this was probably the right time to explore that ministry. I did my first degree of, in, in theology from uh, South Wales. It, then it was, it was called ETCW, Evangelical Theological College of Wales. And after that I played Jonah for nearly six, seven years, thinking, well, I've done my bit, I'm going to do translation work, I will not be doing anything else. But the Lord actually brought me after six, seven years that where he wanted me to be. And I studied, did BA uh, honors in theology from Glamorgan University. And after that, I went to uh, Westminster College and did my master's from there in 2009. Ministry is not easy. It's not a bed of roses. I would strongly recommend or advise to people that they need to pray about it. They need to actually discern their call first. If you are thinking about serving the Lord, the main thing is to, to have Him with you all the time, right from the beginning, right from your first step. Have Him with you, and then He will make sure that you are on the right path. Mm -hmm.